What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, coming at you today with a rant all about Fallout 76, a game that personally I'm very, very excited for, but unfortunately it seems like I'm basically the only one. Over the course of the last couple weeks I've been diving deep to try and research what the community thinks about it, the people who are still playing Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, because their opinion is quite unique in that they're the people who basically live and breathe the Fallout universe. They replay these games over and over again to discussing them, installing mods, enjoying community-made content. So what did they think? Well, not much positive. It seems like most of the people I've been able to try and find are absolutely hating what Fallout 76 might be. And I found this really strange because it seems like something that could be absolutely awesome. From the surface, this is Fallout with your friends. It seems like it could be something that would, well, have the potential to be playable for months, if not years, and keep being fresh and fun. But they still seem to be more concerned about its awesomeness than I am, and it seems like all of their fears come down to three main things. Number one, they think it won't have a story. Let's face facts, part of the reason that Bethesda games are so famous is because they have giant epic tales. They weave these huge narratives that let you construct your own story within a huge landscape with hundreds of side quests and all sorts of cool stuff to do, but at the core of that, is the lore. Each of these different games has something really, really cool. A little tiny nugget of truth, a, a universal existence to it. When you go off on a random journey and explore a cave or find some burned out ruins in Fallout New Vegas. By the time you get to the bottom of that, you've gotten a really, well, tiny little piece of the story that you feel like nobody else has ever seen. And it's so brilliantly written. A lot of times, even though you do get to try and build your own adventure in this world, it seems like everything was placed directly in your path to try and entertain you. And people think that since this is going to be online, you're not going to be able to replicate that style of fun. I mean, I do understand that fear, even if I disagree with it. It seems people are really concerned because they think that the more times you're trying to make it where something is able to be played with multiple people, you can't focus on one single narrative. You can't make it where one person's going to find a book and have this giant tale unfold before them if you're supposed to make it where anybody could find that one book. Now, that just seems a little bit odd to me because... Let's face it, the team that is working on Fallout 76 is really, really seasoned. They have put tons and tons of work into tons of different Fallout games. At this point, they realize what functions best. So I'm not really concerned. I do understand that things might be very different, though. It's not going to be the same style of story that's kind of being told here. But I still feel like, if anything, this opens up the door to more potential of making it where everything might be slightly randomized, where if you go into a certain dungeon or a certain, like, uh, tiny abandoned vault, maybe things will be switched around and you'll find different pieces of lore instead of making it where every spot has the same stuff every time. A lot of this, uh, another big part of the fear is definitely the fact that people are very, very concerned that they're trying to turn this into GTA Online. That's actually something I've seen people say over and over again within the Fallout community is uh, that Bethesda is only doing this to try and get a bigger paycheck. That they're going to originally have stuff be really fast and easy, but over time, stuff within this world will get much more difficult, and eventually they'll introduce some form of microtransactions to try and milk the super diehard Fallout fans. This is something that seems like everybody is the most stuck on, because let's face it, while Grand Theft Auto Online was spectacular at the start, it definitely sort of changed and evolved as time went on until eventually it became quite a bit of a microtransaction mess. People were swiping their credit cards and getting supercars, giant nukes, and overall kind of tainting the fun for other players. And we do know for a fact that Fallout 76 is going to have a big focus on some sort of in-game currency. We've seen people getting caps, but in some of the trailers we see stuff like one player killing another player and getting a bounty, being paid immediately in 
instead of just looting a corpse or something like you'd normally do to get money in a Fallout game. Right now, this doesn't really stick in my mind as something that might be bad. I, I really don't think that they're going to try and go down the microtransaction route because this just doesn't seem like something they need to do. Bethesda just keeps getting bigger, stronger, and way more rich. So doing something like this feels like it's going to, if anything, completely compromise the future buyers of this. If people know for a fact that the game is only going to get more warped and more skewed in favor of microtransactions, day one you're going to have less buyers and therefore you may end up losing money in an effort to try and make more money. While this studio as a whole is kind of hailed as being awesome, let's not really ignore the fact that they have definitely gotten in trouble over the course of the last couple of years by trying to monetize people in a little bit of a different way than we're used to, by doing things like their paid mods. Those experiments have repeatedly blown up in their face, so I do get that some people are a little bit weary that something about this seems amiss, that possibly they could try and really introduce some sort of big, really dirty micro transactions into Fallout 76 maybe a year or two into the game. Something to try and make it where everybody continually has to pay more and more for a game they already own. In general, it seems like the biggest concern I see being said by people is that, in general, they think that this is, well, Bethesda abandoning its fan base. I think what makes a lot of these games the most unique is the fact that they are supported by the people. The people who buy this. The gamers who just grab these off store shelves and get it while on a Steam sale. Those people stick with it. This is not the kind of game that you pick up, play for a weekend, drop, and forget. These are worlds that you dive into and experience. You're dropped into these landscapes and left to try and figure things out completely on your own. Really, I've seen some people spend thousands of hours just trying to do side quests in an effort to try and know every single piece of every secret in every nook and cranny of these expansive maps. But I've also known people who just try and rush to the end and really like trying to see how quickly they can speed run blowing up the last boss. But then they start a new game and do it over and over. They get so invested in this and they're a little bit concerned that in general this is some weird way that possibly Bethesda is abandoning them. The fans that have kept this franchise afloat ever since Fallout 3, since let's face it that's the first one that really blew up, those Fallout fans that kind of got pulled into this universe and addicted to its great gameplay are now really fearful that it seems like maybe Bethesda is shifting every everything in the direction of Elder Scrolls Online. That's something I'm seeing repeated over and over again is that well, Elder Scrolls Online is not necessarily a terrible game, and I hear that it keeps getting patched and expanded, and they keep making new ways to have that game be bigger and more fun, it's definitely not your typical Bethesda experience. It's very much focused on multiplayer, about having big raids and things that are much more like World of Warcraft than your typical straightforward thing like Skyrim. Now, I see what they're going for, but I'm still not able to get in on that fear. It's so baffling to me that these people will so blindly hate Fallout 76 out of the gate. I mean, so much of the community actually uses the word hate a lot. This is just so weird because we know what Bethesda does. They have such a big backlog of games that, in my opinion, build up some form of trust. When the beta comes out, I'm definitely going to put a ton of time into it to fully understand what this game is before it comes out. We'll all get to try and have a lot of our burning questions answered, but until then, I am going to hold off being mean to it because I think I want to go in with an open mind. This is not something that you can just watch one trailer and understand. It's something that's supposed to be, well, really tries to take a big taste. You need a big bite of the sandwich in order to get what the flavor is supposed to be. But these have just been my two cents. Are you a Fallout fan and do you hate Fallout 76? It seems weird that that could even be one sentence, but I guess in the in this era of nerd rage, it sometimes happens. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, whether you love Fallout 76 or outright hate it already. But me personally, I'm definitely about 12% hyped. Thanks so much for watching gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming.
Oh boy, you know, I keep trying to play through Skyrim over and over again. I've done about seven playthroughs of Skyrim now, and I still just enjoy it so much. Oh, hey, I was just playing a little bit of Grand Theft Auto on my Darth Vader PSP. Are you curious what I'm going to come out with next? Well, if you click this button, you'll be subscribed to be the first to know. Also, if you click over here and here, you can see my latest review and my latest top 10. I promise, it was super good. Or it was really bad and I'm sure you can just make fun of me in the comments. Either way, it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching.